Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, um, the title of this one, man, is going to be about selfish. You know, I like to talk every now and again about these topics, about, you know, relationships or situationships with some of y'all. Whatever it is, I'm not here to judge. It is what it is. Um, A lot of times I either watch Love Dorsey or, you know, a couple of these other people storm me. And I hear their take on a lot of things, but a lot of times, even though they do keep it fair, sometimes they do, you know, lean more towards the females. And it is what it is. They're women. So I'm not going to sit here and say anything bad. They're supposed to do that. But I just want to piggyback a little bit off of um, Love Dorsey's topic and her video when she spoke on loyalty versus stupidity. That brought me to this topic today, um, which is selfishness. All right. Now, a lot of us, we look at selfish as being negative, uh, bad, whatever the case may be. We was taught never to be selfish. Share ain't no problem. Right. However, I think personally, it's mandatory that you become selfish at times. I may explain why. So don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And hopefully you guys learn something from this. I uh, learned something from my experiences. This is why I tell you all the time. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. So when I'm when I'm explaining my, you know, my my half to y'all, it, it's coming from me. Some of y'all can relate. Some of y'all can't. It is what it is. Y'all just let me know in the comments how y'all feel about the topics. Uh, if you learn something, you learn something. If you don't, you don't. Uh, maybe you could teach me something. I mean, let me know in the comments. Like I said. All right. So anyway, it's mandatory you become selfish at times. All right. And. Selfish don't always have to be something physical It don't have to be money It don't have to be uh, love It could be anything, literally You could be selfish with your time You could be selfish with, with, with your opinions You could be selfish with your thoughts Selfish with your energy Selfish with your advice Selfish with, with your help Anything I mean, spiritual Whatever the case may be And I say that because a lot of times We often give Give, give, give to the point where we overwhelm ourselves but we don't give off that 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 notation so nobody ever knows that we're at our capacity but we just keep on giving and giving and giving until we can't give no more and when usually when we can't give no more guess what we get the bad end of the stick so meanwhile everybody done got what they needed from us whether it was money whether it was time whether it was advice whether you just came through and helped somebody they got that from you. Meanwhile, now you're stuck with their energy, their bad vibes, their their, their toxic uh, thoughts, you know, something. And I'm explaining, right? I had this one girl, no matter what it was, every day she had some type of problem. And it'll be times I had such a great day, whether work went fine or it flew by or I made extra money on the side, whatever. And my energy would just be through the roof. Now, I mean, I'll, I'll be in a great feeling. But then, boom, I get a call from her. Now, she start telling me how bad her uh, work was, how annoying her co-workers were, how her stomach hurt, how someone in her family uh, just said something that upset her. Something. Listen, it was always just draining to me. And I'm not sure if some of y'all are familiar with energy, but you could definitely transfer your energy to another individual, whether it's good or bad. And she would basically drain me. So just imagine everything going good in your life. You got your new car, uh, job going good, credit cards, zero balance, the whole nine yards. But every time you get a call from this one person, boom, it all comes down to a screeching halt. Now, it's like the person just call you with all their problems. And next you know, you feel that same exact feeling that they felt. And you know what I call those people? I call them energy drainers. Now, some of you don't even know that. Like, you have a lot of those people in your inner circle as we speak. It could be a spouse. It could be a parents. It could be a best friend. It could be a co-workers, kids, so on and so forth. But these are the people that you allow to drain your energy from um from you and then boom now you sit there and you develop you 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 take on their energy their bet no matter wh what it was you take it on and now you're stuck with that same energy and now boom 
your day isn't going so good. But like I said, in order for you to even for you to even fix this problem, you have to identify who or what it is and then learn to deal with it accordingly. Now, once again, like I said, it don't always have to be a person. It could be a place. It could be a thing. It could be social media. And social media to me is probably 85, if not 90 percent energy draining. Now, I know firsthand because when I first came home uh, after doing a little time, I had nothing, literally nothing. Instagram will literally make me feel a type of way and all my like all my energy. Like I would go on there, log on. I could be having a great day. But the minute I log on and check my Instagram, boom, I'm just feeling like nothing. And listen, all my real guys and girls who 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 been through this, they know exactly what I'm talking about. And it don't necessarily have to be you going to jail. If you know what it feels like to have it all one minute and then lose it, and then you got to go back to living a regular life and you watch all your friends or people on social media look like they living their best life, then you could definitely relate to what I'm talking about. It's like, even though I stopped being in the street making thousands and thousands of dollars, I still have friends in the street, so I would still see them living life to the fullest, whether it was cars, mansions, uh, designer clothes, women, the whole nine yards. So what I did, once I realized that social media was draining me and I would feel a way towards it, because it also became a trigger because seeing other people travel, just live life, made me want to get back into the street. What I did was I had to go cold turkey and I just left social media alone for a while until I got myself together. And I'm going to be brutally honest with y'all. Some of y'all do not have enough discipline to even do that, though. I'm not even going to lie. But, you know, it's a work in progress. As a matter of fact, y'all don't even have it in y'all. Some of y'all don't even have it in you to admit that social media is actually a problem for you. And that's a problem as well. So it's like you can never identify the problem if you can't even realize that you have one to begin with. And this is why social media plays a big part in stealing your happiness, a.k.a. draining your energy, because on social media, everybody is perfect. On social media, it looks like everyone is rich, living a life, no problems, no nothing. When truthfully, some of them are living worse than you are. But they don't post that So a weak mind will sit there and literally feel like They're not doing enough in life Because someone else is faking a lifestyle on Instagram I've literally seen this myself I got homegirls who have great jobs Great jobs Own apartment Own car Got everything they want But guess what They log on to Instagram and see these bartenders living their life They say ah, I'm not happy I want to go here I want to go to I want to go to this place. I just don't feel right. How you don't feel right? You got more than the average person has. But this is the effects of Instagram. Now, getting back on subject, right? It's a must. You be selfish. It's a must, literally. And I speak from experience because the kind of person I am, I'll give my last to you if I know you truly need it. Um, um, yeah, if you need it. And guess what? I will struggle. But the thing is, I never worry about me struggling because knowing how I am, I know I'm always going to make a way for myself. Now, however, this way of thinking has been overwhelming at times because I've been put in situations where I've gave away money. I know I didn't even have to give. But because of who it was, I gave it right. It may have probably been late on rent or late on a payment, a credit card payment or something. Come on, y'all. I know I'm not the only one that went through this. I know I'm not the only one that 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 give money or give this, give that to somebody based on who it is, whether it's your mother, whether it's a, a certain spouse. Trust me, I know I'm not the only one. And like I said, these people may be someone you just can't say no to, and usually it's family members. Matter of fact, perfect example, right? I had an ex that used to tell her mother no when she asked her for money sometimes, right? You know, her mother, you know, just casually asks you know whatever the case may be and at the time i used to be like yo why are you telling your mother no you know you got it like give it to her and she would tell me that listen no that ain't the point me having is not the point yes she loved her mother to death but if she keeps giving her mother money every time she asks 
then she'll keep asking. You see what I'm saying? You see how that plays out? And that made me change my whole outlook on things. Because she was dead right. Just because you love someone doesn't mean that you can't tell them no. And in fact, in retrospect, some people would abuse the fact that they know you won't turn them down. And they'll continue to ask you and start to lean on you as a crutch for every little thing. Because they know that you can't say no to them. So just be careful who you've been over backwards for. And make sure they're not taking advantage of your good heart. Because usually that's what happens a lot of the times. Um, some of you guys are even dating women at this very moment that y'all think are really into y'all. But the whole time, she just like the attention she gets um, um, from being with you. The gifts that comes with being with you. The birthday she gets with being, um, um, with being with you. The Christmas, the going out to eat. Uh, to the best restaurants To going on vacation Winning wherever At any given time But you think she's so into you But really it's that street money It's that attention It's that It's that It's that That, that facade And ladies I didn't forget y'all Some of y'all got good credit With your own car Own apartment A uh, good job And y'all messing with a dude That don't have Nothing to offer But a bunch of promises And I uh, uh, I was gonna <laughs> We, we know them kind of dudes The Baby I was going to get you that chain But they didn't have any more in stock Or baby Matter of fact Baby I was going to take you to Aruba For your birthday But they ran out of seats on the flight <laughs> Now nah, or just Or Baby I was going to clean the house While you was out But I had to go handle something real quick You know I got you late. Come on ladies Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about You bringing a whole entree to the table Right and all he got to give you is red lobster biscuits at the table. And that's just real. But you love him. You holding on to his potential uh, rather than seeing him for what he currently showing you. And that's what's holding you back. You know, some of the guys that, that you could see, he, he probably homeless. He got nowhere to go. If you kick him out right now, he's going back to his mom's house. But the thing is, it may seem harsh, but sometimes in order to go forward in life, you have to stop looking back. And once again, it's all go back to what I said. It takes a little bit of selfishness. Sad to say, you have to be selfish at certain times. If you give, 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 right? What's going to happen when you run out? What's going to happen when you give in so much that you no longer have any thing to give to anybody you know what let me tell you them same people that was asking right they're gonna start talking about you about how you don't do nothing for them totally listen totally ignoring the million prior favors that you did for them because we all know all it takes is that one time for you to say no and that's all they remember they don't remember you helping them out when they needed it the most they only remember the no that you gave them when they wanted it not needed it, but wanted it. Because you babied them the whole time. So like I said, remember to work on you. When you have nothing, you wouldn't be able to give nothing. So work on you having and then decide whether you want to give or not. Don't think that you have to. I don't care whether it's family, your child, your spouse, your bestie, whoever. Do what's in your best interest and remember that no one will have you like you. All right. Now, I'm going to leave that one there for you guys, man. Stay sharp. Stay militant. And remember to stay selfish. I know it sounds bad, but stay selfish with what's yours. And I'm not saying don't give. I'm not saying that because you naturally get what you give. However, when you have nothing to give, then what? Be selective. You see what I'm saying? Be selective. Don't be gullible. And with that being said, y'all, let me know how y'all feel about what I said in the comments, man. Do y'all agree? Or am I just being too selfish? Or am I being too harsh? Let me know in the comments below, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And Anonymous Gang, we going up, man. I rock with y'all. Just like I know y'all rock with me. Now remember, as long as y'all keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.